Season's greetings, everybody. I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oro Reports. Well, folks, Season 9 of Mustang Prince Oro Reports is almost over, and so far, during this festive season of the year, we've looked at an old Disney film which took place in the Alps, a 9-minute animated Star Wars short which introduced everybody to Boba Fett, a Santa Claus origin story by Sergio Pablos, a classic Rankin Bass special about Frost the Snowman, and a Christmas special starring Spirit and the Pals. Anyway, with Christmas right around the corner, let me tell you folks about a certain holiday which is very similar to Christmas, known as Heartswarming, which is celebrated in the magical pony world of Equestria. For those who may not have watched My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Heartswarming is where every pony celebrates Equestria's founding and the union of Earth Ponies, Pegasi, and Unicorns while also keeping the fierce Wendigos from causing blizzards. Several Heartswarming traditions include decorating the trees, exchanging presents, and singing carols. Some of my favorite Heartswarming episodes include Heartswarming Eve, where Twilight and her friends reenact the tale of Equestria's founding and a heartwarming tale where Princess Twilight tells Starlight Glimmer a story of a powerful unicorn named Snowfall Frost, which references Charles Dickens' classic story, A Christmas Carol. However, I sadly have bad news that Friendship is Magic is going to leave Netflix sometime during this coming January. And there's still no news of an American DVD release of seasons 8 and 9 or the Hearts Warming Christmas special, which of course is the subject of my blog tonight. So, airing on Discovery Family on October 27th, 2018, the special is My Little Pony Best Gift Ever. Now, let's get started, every pony. With one day before Hearts Warming, the main six get into the spirit of the holiday season by drawing names to get just one present for another pony, which leads to each pony racing all over Equestria to find the perfect gift. So, what are my thoughts on this special? Well, in my opinion, this special really warmed my heart after watching it online, and I really loved it. But to further explain why I love it, Let's move on to Mustang Notes. Now, firstly, this special takes place between seasons 8 and 9. Secondly, after its television release, it went streaming to Netflix in America and Canada on November 25th, 2018. Sadly, I hear it's going to end its streaming run at the end of this December, which to me, sounds very unfair to all of us My Little Pony fans here in North America. Thirdly, the special was adapted into the September through October 2018 Best Gift Ever Storybooks, A Perfect Pinky Present, Board Book, and A Present for Every Pony. Lastly, the special was accompanied by three animated shorts, Triple Pony Daria, The Great Escape Room, and Mystery Voice which I think are all pretty fun shorts. As for the animation, well, in my opinion, the Flash animation looks pretty good, even better than the Pony Life animation. I mean, I really love how Equestria looks during the winter, especially when we see what every pony does during the holiday season. As for the story, well, in my opinion, I think it's a lot better than My Little Pony Equestria Girls Holidays Unwrapped. Plus, I think the Hearts Warming Helper plot kind of makes me think of the Secret Santa event that my musical theater village friends have been doing for many Christmases now. However, instead of giving just one present to our assigned person, we give out four. Plus, I'd like to thank Andrew and Gloria Henderson for being my Secret Santas this year. Also, I've noticed certain parts where several ponies make references to other classic Christmas specials, like A Charlie Brown Christmas. However, seeing an elf reference kind of makes me very disgusted, due to the fact that I can't stand that movie or its animated musical remake. 
Also, I like the special's moral that the best gift anyone can ever give is friendship, which to me is very, very heartwarming and sweet. And now let's talk about the special song numbers. Now, in total, there are two features throughout this special. The first song is called One More Day, sung by the main six and many other ponies in Ponyville. Fun fact, an animatic of this song was previewed during the My Little Pony panel at the 2018 San Diego Comic Con. To me, this is a pretty catchy tune. Plus, it's the kind of song that almost anyone should listen to on Christmas Eve. Also, there are moments throughout the song that are pretty reminiscent to how folks are when they're doing last-minute holiday preparations like shopping, mailing, wrapping, etc. The second and final song is called The True Gift of Gifting, sung by Spike. Spoiler alert, this song is Spike's gift for rarity, and in my eyes, this song really is a sweet, heart spring present. Also, while listening to it, it really gives me happy tears. And now let's move on to the characters and the voice actors who brought him to life. The leader of the main six, Princess Twilight Sparkle, is voiced by my all-time favorite voice actress, Tara Strong. Best known as Princess Melody from The Little Mermaid 2, Bubbles from The Powerpuff Girls, Anna from The Care Bears Nutcracker Suite, Raven from Teen Titans, Riku from Final Fantasy X and X-2, and Miss Minutes from the Loki series. As we all know, Princess Twilight is the princess of friendship, and in my eyes, Twilight is a smart and organized alicorn. And of course, she's my number one cartoon crush, and I absolutely love how she decorates her castle for the holidays. However, during this special, Twilight goes under a lot of crazy stress and pressure while preparing for heartswarming, as well as grading her students' tests, preparing for the arrival of Cadence, Shining Armor, and Flurry Heart, and finding a very special present for Pinkie Pie in the form of Chancellor Puddinghead's legendary pudding. Speaking of which, I think Twilight's pudding face is kind of bizarre and creepy. Twilight's assistant and son, Spike, is voiced by Kathy Wesseluck, whom was Shampoo from Ranma One Half, and she was one of the sprites of the Northern Lights in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer the movie. In my eyes, Spike is a very helpful and loyal dragon, and during this special, he wants to get a really, really special gift for Rarity. No surprise. Anyway... I felt pretty bad for Spike when he got into a glitter disaster, but in the end, I still stand by that the song he written was really, really sweet and heartwarming. Next are Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, both voiced by Andrea Littman, best known from the Madeline animated series. In this special, Pinkie Pie goes to Yak Yakistan, seeking advice from Prince Rutherford for Twilight's gift. As for Fluttershy, she's assigned to find a present for Rainbow Dash, so she joins Applejack in Rainbow Falls to shop for their gifts. By the way, one of my favorite moments is when Fluttershy calms and befriends a lonely Winterzilla. Next we come to Applejack and Rainbow Dash, both voiced by Ashley Ball, who voiced Dharma in Rock Dog 2. In the special, Applejack suggests to her friends that they should do a heartwarming helper in order to ease Twilight's workload. Also, she's assigned to find a present for Spike. And as I said earlier, she joins Fluttershy at Rainbow Falls, and the two of them buy cheaply made dolls from the Flim Flam Brothers. As for Rainbow Dash, she's assigned to find a present for Fluttershy, and she manages to find one with Discord's help, in the form of a winter chilla, a small rodent-like animal that turns into a monstrous winter zilla after dark. Next is the lovely Rarity, voiced by Tabitha St. Germain, who you may remember from the Scary Godmother specials. In this special, Rarity orders a very special hat as her gift for Applejack. Unfortunately, it was misdelivered to a pony named Pistachio who lives on a nut farm, 
No thanks to derpy hooves. However, when Pistachio offers to return the hat, Rarity generously insists that he keeps it as to encourage his passion for fashion designing. Moving on, we have Discord, voiced by John Delancey, whom was in The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest and Olaf's Frozen Adventures. Now, it's about time I talk about Discord. This guy is the spirit of chaos and disharmony who once ruled over Equestria in a state of unrest and unhappiness, until Princess Celestia and Princess Luna used the element of harmony to imprison him in stone. However, after the sisters lost their connection to the elements, the spell was broken and Discord broke free. But he was redefeated by the main six. Later in the series, Princess Celestia decides that Discord should be reformed so his magic can be used for good. In my eyes, I really don't trust this Draconicus, mainly due to him being a mischievous and manipulative trickster who effortlessly pulls pranks on every pony, which kind of makes him an MLP version of Loki, in a way. However, I think his friendship relationship with Fluttershy is pretty sweet. Anyway, during this special, Discord assists Rainbow Dash in finding and catching a winter chilla for Fluttershy, and he plans to have Fluttershy tame said animal. Next we come to Flim and Flam, voiced by Sam Vincent and Scott McNeil. These guys are twin sales pony unicorn brothers. They started out as antagonists by using their super speedy Cider Squeezy 6000 in hopes to run Sweet Apple Acres out of business. And in my opinion, these guys are a pair of con artists, especially in this special where they're in disguise selling heartwarming dolls as part of another attempt to fund an expansion of their resort. Thankfully, Applejack and Fluttershy foil their scheme by convincing their customers to put more time and effort into their heartwarming gifts. Next up are Twilight's BBBFF, Shining Armor, voiced by Andrew Francis, and her sister-in-law, Princess Cadence, voiced by Britt McKillop. Shining Armor and Cadence are the rulers of the Crystal Empire after the restoration of the Crystal Heart and the defeat of King Sombra. In my eyes, Shining Armor is a great and special brother, and Cadence is a beautiful, caring, kind, and fun alicorn. And I think Twilight was really lucky to have her as a full sitter when she was a little filly. Plus, I just love that cute chant that she and Twilight do. In this special, Shining Armor, Cadence, and their daughter Flurry Heart arrive at Twilight's castle in hopes of spending hearts warming with her. However, later, after sledding, they realize that Twilight has become preoccupied in preparing Pinkie Pie's pudding present. By the way, I like the part where Shining Armor says that Twilight has gone all Twily Nanas, which kind of influenced me to create the word Joshy Nanas, which means the same feeling. Also to note, while I do think Flurry Heart is such an adorable baby alicorn and pretty smart for some pony her age, Flurry can be pretty mischievous at times, like when she throws a bunch of additional ingredients into the cooking pot while her parents and aunt aren't looking, which causes the pudding to become unstable and flood the entire castle. Finally, we have the gift givers of the grove, Aurora, Bori, and Alice, voiced by Asia Matu, Alice N. Wanzura, and Megan Homie. These three new characters are a trio of reindeer whom Prince Rutherford suggests Pinkie Pie to go to in order to get a present for Twilight. They claim to give her the perfect gift, which is later revealed to be the pudding's remaining ingredients. Also, they give Pinkie Pie a cryptic rhyme, stating, The best gift is more precious than gold, but it cannot be sold. When it breaks, it's not ended, for quickly it's mended. It can never be bought, yet is easily sought. Later, this rhyme is revealed to be a riddle 
where the answer is friendship. And now let's move on to my final words. Overall, My Little Pony Best Gift Ever is a pretty good holiday special, not just for My Little Pony fans, but also for the whole family. The flash animation is great, the voice acting is terrific, and the story is relatable, emotional, and despite some frustration, everything worked out greatly in the end. I highly recommend every pony to watch it on Netflix streaming during this holiday season before it leaves. And if Hasbro is watching this video, please, just please, allow this special, along with the remaining two seasons, to get an American DVD release soon. Because that would make a wonderful Christmas present for every My Little Pony fan. As for my rating, I'll give the special a full 100%. Well, that's all for now. But before I go, me and several guests would like to spread some Christmas cheer to all of you viewers with our Christmas greetings. Happy holidays to the Mustang Prince and all of his viewers, and I wish you all a wonderful 2022. You might not be able to tell, but this is Joshua's sister. Very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hi, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to everyone. Wishing everyone a peaceful, beautiful new year. Mostly peaceful. Merry Christmas, Christmas everyone. Have, have a safe and happy new year. year. Woohoo! Hi everyone, I'm Anahita, I'm Joshua's friend. I wanted to take this time to wish Joshua, his family, and all of you a very Merry Christmas. Remembering this season is the celebration of the birth of Christ, who came down, lived as a man, died on the cross, rose again in three days, beat death, gave us eternal life and salvation, and is now in heaven. But he's not far away. Simply pray in your heart and receive Jesus today. And have a beautiful Merry Christmas and sending love to all of you. Not just my own love, but the love of God. May he bless you in this season. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful night. Have a beautiful year with your loved ones. Have a really, really safe, and happy, healthy holiday season and a really excellent new year. Hello, this is Daniel, wishing you all a very safe holiday. Merry Christmas and have a wonderful new year. Season's greetings. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and a Happy New Year to everyone, from my family to yours. Hey, Merry Christmas from uh, Wakanda, Illinois. Um, hope you're all good and um, hope you have a great holiday season. Hello everyone, this is John Den, the reviewer, saying Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. Hi from Italy, this is my video to wish you Merry Christmas and uh, wish you joy and happiness. Buon Natale! As the Duke of Arts, I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays everybody! May your Christmas season, Hanukkah season, Kwanzaa, whatever holiday you celebrate, be merry, bright, prosperous, and full of abundant joy. And let us also pray that 2022 will be an even more prosperous year and a healthier year for all of us. Take care, everybody. Merry Christmas from Hawaii. My name is Ellie, I'm with the Swan Princess team, and we're so very excited to wish you a very Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a wonderful winter and spending it with family and friends and everyone you love. From all of us here at Swan Princess, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas! So, on that final note, be sure to join me next time where we close season nine with a very shiny New Year's special, Mustang Power. And have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy Hearts Warming. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Throw the ancient yuletide cap. Hi everyone, 
and this is Joshua's mom. And I want to wish you a very, very, merry Christmas. <laughs>